Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me again on my new video. So today, as you can tell, it's a luxury jewellery unboxing. So I've got something really special in here. It's um, from Van Cleef Arpel, as you can obviously tell. And I'm super excited to share this with you, a little bit nervous, but I'm going to share what I got and my experience. If you're new here, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any new videos. I'd love for you guys to come over to my Instagram page where I post weekly um, just to come and say hi to me and just check out my page. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. So can I just start by talking about just the classic standard paper bag? It's got Van Cleef Arpels uh, classic green jade rope and it's got the name written at the front of the bag and the logo at the back. I'm just going to run through with you what I actually got with my purchase and my experience as to what it was like going into Van Cleef's at Harrods. Um, but let me start off with what we've got with the purchase. So it's, first of all, this is the an envelope that you get. It's got Van Cleef Arpel at the front and the logo just on the back. And this is where you have your receipts. Um, it's obviously got the your own details on it with your name, the code, the item code and the purchase price. Um, and also what I got, there was a few little bits in here. She did um, kind of run through what I was going to get. So first of all, let me just show you this. Oh, let me make a little bit more room. So this is the authenticity certificate. And this is literally um, a certificate that proves that it's the real deal and the serial number on there, the date you purchased it. And the serial number that's on here, I also realised, matches up with the serial number that's on the actual necklace. So um, it's an important piece of document that you have to keep with you just in case something happens to your item. I'm just going to have trouble getting it back in the card as usual. And there you go. <laughs> I think that's really important to keep just in case you need that for whatever reasons. And then you have this beautiful little pouch. And I think this is a travel pouch and it comes like that. It's quite big for the pendant itself, but it's quite sweet. I love the jade green color. It's like, I don't know, it's like a soothing color. It's nice, it's a velvety material. And then you get this Van Cleef Arpel, which looks like a little booklet, but if you take it out, it opens like a book. It's got the Van Cleef Arpel, um, maintenance so it tells you how to look after your item um, it's just one page the rest of it's in different languages and then this is the cloth that you get with it which you wipe your pendant with so it's a pretty big cloth and then I think what you would do is if you were traveling is to put this in here like this I mean that's what I would do and then I would put my pendant in here and I'll show you what I would put it in with so I'm going to pop that to the side for the moment and put this away and now let's get into the main part of the video today is an unboxing of the Alhambra yellow gold onyx Van Cleef Arpel pendant and this is how it comes Gonna make room for this. It comes in a velvet little box and you open like this. Then dun dun dun, dun. oh <laughs> so it comes like that. How gorgeous is that? I get nervous every time I look at this. How gorgeous is that? And it's onyx on both sides oh my goodness I remember the first time I ever wore this my hands were shaking I was just so excited to wear it but it's a beautiful classic piece okay so let me show you how I would use the travel pack so I literally use the same insert and just wrap the necklace around one more time so it's securely kind of fastened in there and then I use the protective um, cover and pop it into the back of the pouch now you might think this is a bit 
too much. But for me, I feel like by doing that, it kind of makes the travel pouch a bit more compact and full and the necklace inside won't move around too much. So if I hadn't have put that cloth in there, I feel like it'd move, move around and you could remove the cloth and just put other pieces of items um, of jewellery in there but it's entirely up to you now literally you can just pop this into your handbag or your hand luggage and you're good to go but I think it's a really nice piece to have um, because sometimes I feel like you struggle with where to put all your jewellery safe and it's nice that if you've got different pieces of jewellery from different brands you instantly know which one is um, from Van Cleef because of the colour um, anyway, so let me just talk about the actual um, different types of stones that you can get. The reason why I felt like I wanted to go for the onyx is because one, I wear a lot of black, two, I wear a lot of gold. So that made sense to me to get that. And for my first piece of jewellery, um, black felt the safest one to get because it's a lot more durable compared to the other stones. Um, so I was looking at the Mother of Pearl, but that's really, really delicate. And I feel like it could um, it could get damaged very easily. And if you're not very careful with your jewellery, then Onyx is probably one of the best ones because I've heard that you could shower in it, you could sleep in it, um, and you don't have to be that precious with it. Um, whereas the other ones, you definitely couldn't wear them in the shower or put water on them but as I was doing my research on the stone I did read somewhere that onyx um, absorbs water very quickly so for me although the essay said to me that yeah you could wear it um in the shower and every day and sleep in it and stuff I personally wouldn't I'm a little bit extra like that <laughs> so let me just share with you my experience um with the Van Cleef Arpel store in Harrod so I obviously went there to well, the intention wasn't to purchase it. I literally just turned up in my gym outfit and I just felt like I just wanted to have a browse because I reached a really high milestone in my life and I thought I wanted to be rewarded. So I kind of just turned up, had a look around. Um, the sales assistant wasn't very, I say friendly, maybe because of the way I was dressed, which is a little bit disappointing, but um, her tune kind of changed once I made the transaction. <laughs> So I think she probably felt I was going to waste her time. Anyway, the reason why I chose the Onyx was because it was the most durable stone. I know some of the stones there are quite sensitive in terms of the way you wear them. Um, some of them you can't actually put direct sunlight on them. So say, for example, you're on holiday and you've been wearing it all day. You can't get into the swim pool. Um, there's certain things that you can't do. So I didn't want to be restricted with the piece of jewellery that I had on. Um, so. The onyx is the most durable um, stone of all and it's also replaceable. So if, for instance, you damage the stone, um, there's no worry about it being replaced. And the other thing for me was that the fact that I wear a lot of black and I felt black complements my skin. <laughs> it definitely does complement my skin. Um, so I was thinking of the mother of pearl, but I think because of the this large size pendant, such a big statement piece, I could add to my collection and maybe get the Sweet Alhambra, which is the smaller um, necklace, because there were the two sizes I was deciding between. And I feel like the bigger size is definitely a statement piece, which is what I really wanted. I thought the necklace was gonna be quite heavy to wear, but it's actually very, very light and comfortable to wear. And I love the fact how the light shimmers on the necklace and the onyx is on both sides as opposed to just one. So the one thing I would suggest is if you are considering between the two sizes, the Sweet Alhambra and this size, I'd kind of consider whether I'd be wearing it for an everyday wear or just special occasions. So personally for me, um, because this is such a huge statement piece, I'd wear it on special occasions only and most of my jewellery are very sentimental. So for me to wear it on a special night out just makes me feel a little bit more special. So yeah, that's the one thing I would consider is how often you'd be wearing it. I also wanted to share with you how I actually store my necklace. So this is literally just the um, the insert that you get from the box. And I literally have taken that, wrapped the necklace around there and inserted it in my flat lay Ikea pull-out tray. Um, the reason I do this is because I don't want the chain to be tangled up. And I know in the past where I've kind of laid them flat and they still kind of get tangled. So this is such a good way to um, protect the necklace from getting tangled. Okay, so let's talk about the chain. So 
Do you remember I mentioned before that the serial number is on the actual chain? So that rectangle bit has your serial number on there so you can match the information that the uh, boutique have of your necklace with the actual necklace itself. So as you can see, there's two settings. One's a longer one. I think it's about 18 inch and then the other 16. I'm not entirely sure because I don't have a tape measure at home, <laughs> but I think that's roughly the, the sizes. And um, what I really like about this is the actual chain itself is a thick chain, which means it's a lot sturdier than a lot of the jewelry pieces I have. And also, as you can see, that's, well, you can't see it properly. So that's the serial number. And if you turn it around, it'll have it on the, it just says Van Cleef on there, I think. I can't even see properly. And then the actual clasp itself, let me get this in focus, has the VCA logo on there, which I thought was quite cute. I didn't even realize it until I looked at it now. And the clasp itself is quite strong too. So I'm not worried about it just kind of snapping off. So this is what it looks like on, I think it looks so gorgeous. Um, I love how the yellow gold isn't really yellow. It's more kind of a little bit muted, which is what I actually want. Um, because being Asian, sometimes when you wear yellow gold, it can look a little bit too much. But this just looks really lovely. So I've got this on the shortest um, hole, which means it sits closest to the collarbone. And this is how I like to usually wear it. Because I've got long hair, I feel like if I wear it on this setting, it doesn't get lost in my clothes or over my hair. Um, but also, wearing it on a longer hole um, over some tops would look lovely, which I'll show you. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like on the longer um setting so it's not too long I guess it's fine this is perfect I guess for when you want to layer up your necklaces so say for instance you want to um, have the smaller sweet alhambra necklace to go with this then that would be perfect because the sweet alhambra sits even higher up and you can have this on the longer chain so you could double up um, I also like to wear this over a polo neck and on the longer ch uh, length chain it looks really really beautiful so I think that's a wrap for today. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.